Well, hi again, everybody. Welcome to my latest video. Well, in this one, I'm going to do a product review. The newer, which is really an extend arm for my microphone that I'll be using when I go live streaming here just in a few more days. I purchased this, by the way, with my funds, so it was not something sent to me by anybody, newer or anybody else. So let me start off by doing a package opening. It's really a package. It's sort of like in a bag, sealed off. It's got a label on it and everything. So this is the way it came. So what I'll do is I'll open this up. I'll take some, some scissors here. Okay, so here's a package. Like I said, it looks like a bag. Let's see, where do I cut it? Probably back over here where it looks like there's a seam. It's not one made for a knife, it looks like, so. That's what happened last time I ordered one of these uh, scissor arm mic holders. Oh, right up on the bag. What have we got in here? They do that when they have a couple of things they're, they're giving you. Let me take them both out of here. Okay, so we got the actual scissor stand. Very similar, it looks like, from the outset to the one that I have downstairs in my, in my secondary studio. Might even be the same thing. I'll find out when I open it up. And then you have this, which I guess is the actual mic holder, which I believe a little bit different in this particular model. And I'll open this guy up and see what we got here first. This is the part that will actually hold the microphone. So we got a nice cushioned holder for the microphone. And then over here, we would have the actual stand, I assume. And that's got a few pieces to it too. So we got this traditional mic holder, which I guess is what it would have by default. It's a more simplistic, just a plastic holder here to hold the mic. That actually may work because it looks like it's the same, but that's not the way I want to go. Put that aside, the same thing here, another QR code card. And then we got the actual sort of vice scripts for the top of the table, right? Standard. And then we have the main body of the, uh, the scissor holder. What end does it open up at? Over here, I guess. There we go. So this part goes down into the table, and then this part up here would actually hold the mic. Okay, those are the pieces. Okay, and looking at this, I had to make a little mod. My existing microphone, unfortunately, a little too thin for this holder that comes with the kit insulation for the vibrations right i want to use this one this one would have worked fine but i didn't want to use that connector that would have worked fine with this particular type of mic so in order to get this to fit i had to add this now how did i add that went to the home repair store spent two dollars and fifty cents and bought this roll of black duct tape and then i just wound it around here until it seems thick enough fit into this holder properly. So I'll put it in there in a moment, but I want to first check to make sure how I'm going to connect the actual mic holder to the stand. These two parts here, these brass parts, or at least br brass alloy, they're not compatible. And as I looked at it, I realized that it's got an extra piece here. So let me remove this one. That'll be extra, that's a good piece. I can use it for something else. And then it looks like this one will just turn right into it. So it, it's the right threads, the right size threads. So I'll just feed it in until it tightens up. Now I can always adjust how this is. It's exactly the same as I have downstairs. You just take this, loosen that up, and then this whole piece can turn around any way that you want it to face. So I'm going to face it this way. Whoops, I want it to face it that way so it holds the mic up to my mouth and then I'll turn this whole thing around so the mic can go into the top here and then the longer piece is supposed to be at the bottom anyway these little rubber band things popped loose so I'll have to put them back in place they're pretty simple they pop right back in I'll just sort of put them right underneath the lip like this and they pop right back in now in order to put the mic in we have a tensioning with this these two pieces here Unfortunately, these, these rubber bands are in the way because I need to open it up a little bit. So I'll remove these two rubber bands, I'm calling them rubber bands, but there's a more proper name for that. And then I could take this and just open it up like that and see if this fits in. And by doing my little mod, it looks like I'm good. There we go. 
so it fits perfectly inside that little metal band. And then I can take these rubber bands, as I call them, and I can pull them back up in underneath here, put them where they're supposed to be under the collars, and then there we are. And I can adjust this any way I want. If I want to make it face me a little bit more, I just loosen it up here, and I can just stretch it to any position that I'd like. A combination of these two tighteners. And I think that's the way I'm going to want to have it. That way I have the switch available to me right underneath the bottom for the microphone. And it'll sit like that. Let me set it up on the desk, which is pretty straightforward. Set it under the desk. I have to take this vice component, open it up wide enough to reach the thickness of the desk. And I can put it right underneath the end like so. There we go. And then I can tighten it up. Looks like it has a little bit of a pad, but I may put another pad on there just to protect my desk top a little bit more. And then this guy should be able to fit right into there. And then I can tighten it up and I can make the position any way that I'd like. Okay, so now here I am all set up. Microphone is ready to start streaming. That little mod I did, make sure you consider that if you have a thin mic like I do, get yourself some black masking tape. Like I said, I, I paid about $250. If you went to like a dollar store or something, you probably could get it for cheaper. Works fine. I can always take it off. The best I would have to do is maybe use some stickum remover from the mic to get that part of it off if I ever decide to do that. But I like it. It's nice and cushioned now, so the vibration will not affect the sound. This mic in this holder looks pretty good. I can still get to the volume controls. I can also get to the power on switch right here in the front. And I can actually see the light that shows when it's connected up to the system. So it's not interfering at all and no vibration passing to the mic. So if you get something out of this video and you want to see future videos like this or when I do go live streaming, which is coming very soon, and there's only a few days left to that, then please at least consider subscribing to my channel. That would be very helpful. So until the next time, take care and still in this world, do your best to stay healthy.